created or born with logic. Um, humans naturally exercise logic on a very fundamental level, even infants, even animals. In, in a, a very, very simple way, that's mathematics. Yeah, well said. Um, here's a question for you. Um, do you believe Jesus is God, the Son, and the flesh? If so, then are the rest of the 23 elders also God, the Son? That's a great question, and, and on point, and uh, not a straw man. Uh, would you put it back up so I can review that? Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, um, this is what I think is true. I, I think that our God has had this happen more than once. Oh. Had more than one batch of children. Uh, so the rest of the universe is not a waste. Actually, he's, he's got it busy too. Um, of course, being human nature, being the animal that we are, um, we will need a savior. So every given earth would need a savior, well, no, no matter how many earths. He's asking you, do you believe Jesus is God? I'm, I'm getting no, this. Well, thank, thank you so much, you. Kevin. I appreciate the Great. reminder. That I do believe that Jesus is the Son of God and, and the Son of God. That's not what he asked you. Uh, okay, I guess I'm not seeing the question. Then maybe someone he, could. He wants, he he wants to know if, if Jesus is the Almighty. If, no, I don't think that Jesus is the Almighty. Okay, yeah, there you go. The there you go. Okay. So the answer is no. Okay, if that's what yes. he meant, yes. Yes, Richard is a heretic, correct. Uh, Richard is well aware he's a heretic. Thank you for the reminder, Kevin. <laughs> Repent or die, liberal. Why would you steal such a bad line? It's true. I'm not a, I'm not a liberal. Uh, see, we, so, you know, it was a good stream, and now we got to let the feces come in. So, praise, uh, if, could praise you, of, if I'm disturbing your stream, I'll go. I'm, I didn't mean to do that. I you're, thought you're I could come in and possibly. No, you, man. I, mean, I, 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 I think you're fine. Uh, I don't, I mean, you're. I would love to. And does, uh, do, does Molinism counter? Uh, Vantilian, uh, Vantilian, or or do they kind of go like a hand, a hand in hand? Um, not necessarily. I do. Yeah, right, right. I'm I'm not aware that he's ever like documented his failure ratings. Um, I see him having successes, and it looks like he has a hundred percent successes, which seems intuitively incorrect. No, he has people that reject him all the time on his videos. Oh, yeah. I've never seen one, but I'll trust you on that. Well, then you haven't watched him enough. I, no, I haven't watched very much of them. That's true. I don't think it's a, a yeah. decent approach. It's a biblical approach. That's what Jesus did in Matthew 7. He gave him the law first. He, he didn't come right out and give him grace in the cross. He gave him the law to show them the, how, how simple they are. It's biblical. That's the biblical method. You show people they're sinners. You know, it's like um, you walk up to someone and say, hey, man, here's the cure for cancer. I'm like, I don't need that. I don't have cancer. You have to show them first that they have cancer. Then they'll want the cure. I, I get the idea. Right. And that's what I'm doing. I want you. Do You need the cure. You have a false Jesus, a false God. Um, you're on your way to uh, destruction. You're going to be if, uh, held if accountable. If you be so here. kind as to show how you are objectively correct about that. Well, the Bible says that there is one God. There's one yes. mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. You say there's 24 mediators between God no. and man. No. In um, reference to this planet, I do not say that. Yeah, well, your reinterpretation of the scriptures is, is, is bizarre and it's of the devil. So, if you could just show that. Scripture. It, there is only one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I'm I'm aware. No, you're not, because you don't even believe in the one true God, because you take away part of his person, you take away Jesus Christ out of that equation. So you have fundamentally a false God already, so you have to correct that issue first, then you can trust the, the biblical gospel. Where, where did I say that Jesus isn't part of the Godhead? Because you deny his um, deity. If he's not God, then that's not the biblical trinity. 
That's not that's not the God that exists. So would you show me a place where Jesus claims to be God? Or someone claims that Jesus is God? Sure. Um, when he resurrected and he appeared before the apostles, uh, Thomas, uh, you know, beheld him and said, my Lord and my God. Yes, that's what Thomas said. Correct. Okay, so I'll take Jesus that as Thomas's that. testimony. That's fine. Yep. Also in the book of Acts, it says that God purchased his church by his own blood. Yes, I'm aware. Okay. Uh, John 1 attributes Jesus Christ as the creator, and so does the book of Colossians. It says that Jesus That's... made all things, and for him all things were made. Yes, I, I understand that as well. I just don't see why you think that makes Jesus God. Well, because in Genesis 1, it tells us God created everything. And Colossians and John are saying that Jesus created everything. So, therefore, Jesus has to be who? Okay, so w when you say God as a general term, I I'm assuming you're taking that as a consensus. Um, are, are you certain that everything you're referring to there is indeed um, El Elyon? Are, are you sure of that? Or... Or um, Jehovah? Well, yeah, there's only one God. That's that's not what I asked you. I, I'm asked you, are you referring to a translation, or in the parts that you yourself are right now quoting, you're certain that it is it is Jehovah that it the, the most of or El Elyon? You're certain of that? I I don't know what you're talking about. You're you're aware that. These modern translations are precisely that, translations. And it may read the word God, and it may read the word Lord, but those were translated from more original ideas. Are, are you certain that the ones that you're quoting right now to me, when you say, oh, it, it reads Lord God, are you, are you sure you know what those words mean? So I think the Greek word is kurios, which means Lord. And in the Old Testament, it was Yahweh. Um, Always Yahweh? Every time Old Testament? Or it could be Elohim or Adonai. Um, or? Or what? My point is there's several terms. We can't just translate them loosely all as God and treat them <laughs> as though the... the writer's intent was to say Jehovah there. That's, it's not accurate. Yeah, that's who Jesus is. Jesus is Jehovah. That, see, but that's why I'm bringing this up, is because you keep saying things like that, and I don't think you've done any research on it. Well, I mean, the text says what it says, man. So. No, no, the translation says what the translation says. It doesn't matter. The, it doesn't matter if you, if you read the Old Testament or the New Testament, you know, God is God. It's the same God. It, it, it doesn't matter. So do you, do you believe there's only one God? Because I do. Of course. Okay, and, and is that God the highest? Yeah, he's triune. He's Father, Son, and Spirit. Could you answer the questions directly without changing the subject? Yeah, there's only one God. He, of course he's the highest. He's above all. He's the creator. And would you know the Hebrew word Eloach? Would you nope. know what that means? Nope. It, it means a singular powerful being, like the greatest powerful being. That's what Eloach would. Would you know the, the plural of that? Nope, I don't read Hebrew. I don't know Hebrew. Yeah, but you already said the plural of it. It's Elohim. That that im sound at the end, that means plural. Okay. So, right. so when you read Old Testament, which you just said you were quoting, and it reads God creator. And why does God are, refer to himself in plural, Richard? It's it it's um it's actually powerful beings and it's not the word Jehovah and it's not the word God. I was just wondering if you're aware of that. Well, why does he refer to himself in plural? So Elohim is plural, I agree. Why does God refer to himself in plural? It's it's not himself in plural. There was no royal we. You're imposing a royal we that doesn't exist there. You're not making sense. Okay. Well, I kind of want to jump in here really quick and uh, welcome Simon Funk. And uh, Simon, when to say something, go ahead, man. 
Oh, thanks very much. Um, yeah, hello, peace and respect to Richard, and hello to you peace all. And respect. Um, I just I was curious by the title, Talking Philosophy, and yeah. uh, I was just going to kind of wait for that to happen and then uh, talk about something. <laughs> oh man, you were late to the party. We just got done with it. Yeah, about oh, 10 minutes ago. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, well. I would have loved to hear what you had to say, too, man. That that's, cool. that's just me. I'm just always late. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Simos, do you agree that uh, epistemological science has some fundamental philosophical flaws? Like, for instance, um, presupposing uniformitarianism. Yeah, I don't think that's a flaw, but yeah, there are presuppositions in science, yeah. Perhaps you would say why it's not a flaw. Uh, well, because I think every worldview has presuppositions. No, I meant uniformitarianism specifically. Uh, okay, I'm not exactly sure what you're getting at. Um, the assumption, I mean, ew, okay, it, it's not an assumption like this must be true. It's an assumption upon which the methods can be deemed useful does that make any sense i think in repeatability uh there is good indicator that something will continue as it has in the past but being strictly logical about it mm. it's it's flawed because it assumes that it can't change um well it assumes it can't change it assumes yeah. that if it does change, that we will we'll find change. some... <laughs> we'll find different results. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we find different results, then we would change our theories, right? right. Or hypothesis in order to test the new, accommodate the new data. I mean, there is Not... a problem with verification. I, I would agree to that, if that's what you're right. kind of getting at. And that is one of them. So, uh, but again, I, you know, one of the, one of the misconceptions that I keep coming across is this idea that science uh, is a thing? <laughs> it's not. It's science a method. Is a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a method, right? When people say science says X, that's not true. Scientists say X, right? Yes. Thank you. Um, for, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. So, uh, but science is the method through which scientists work, and therefore, uh, and it has, as you say these philosophical uh, presuppositions at, their, at its base um, by which it proceeds. See, that's what but, I like about it, Simos here. I, I don't know how much you've been on Praise's show, Praise how well you know Simos, but you can depend on Simos to say what he believes is true. Right. Yeah, which I is think, awesome. Yeah, like he was showing like he wasn't really biased there, which is interesting. I have, are you an atheist, Simos? Or? Yes, I am, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like you're you're more straightforward than the other ones that we've come across. So I give you much respect for that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means exactly, <laughs> but I mean, the, one of the things about atheists in in general is it's uh, they're like cats. Uh, you, you can't. <laughs> they, you can't. They just can't be herded. You know, yeah. you can't say, "Oh, yeah, I believe X because I'm an atheist." That's that's just not going to happen. Mainly I only because, saw praises. You know, Sorry, go ahead. Own, yeah, mainly because it's just, uh, uh, you know, the term atheist is just a position on one question, not many questions. Um, so there's no kind of. And usually in ideology. our culture, it, it really only is addressing the idea of the Christian God, maybe maybe Judaic God. Well, I, I don't think so, but I mean, um, I, it's all. I mean, for me personally, my definition of God is something like. Uh, a supernatural being with agency and that's that's what i deny don't you also believe that there can be nothing supernatural i mean it, if you would say something like supernatural no. is that which we we do not yet understand or that supernatural cannot exist i don't say those things no personally um yeah i mean I, it could be proved to me that uh i don't know any deity exists it could be proved to me that i think in in theory it could be proved to me that a supernatural deity which was an agent could exist oh, okay well it you haven't be... defined him out of reality then so it's still within no. plausibility okay fine that's fair 
absolutely because i don't discount virtually anything really i mean i have an imagination and i like it <laughs> right um it's, yeah. it's taking me oh, quite far good. so um, uh, i'm quite happy with that go ahead yeah so, yeah I, so do you if you deny universals exist but if, if if you do not deny universals exist how do you ground those uh i hate to give a blase answer but um I, you know, for a start, the word universals is a description to me. It's not a prescription. And if I were to ground it, I would ground it in the universe, <laughs> okay. which is a bit glib, right? But is obvious. Not really. Right? Not really, because we were talking about axiomatic beliefs and presuppositional apologetics. Right. Where, where there seems to be no fundamental distinction until you throw um, intellect and choice on top of it. They could easily be talking about the universe instead of God. Yeah, yeah. That that's why part of my definition of God is that it's an agent, because I think desires uh, are quite an important part of uh, what it means to have an explanation in that sense, in those sense of universals. Otherwise, you're not. If, you, if you're just talking about supernatural, you're not really talking about anything which has. Uh, I don't know. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Anything which necessarily um, is a creator. I mean, just the supernatural alone doesn't imply creation. Right. I mean, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I might just push back a little bit. Like, there's. Yeah, please think. There's things that have been developed in philosophy. Like, the, I forget the guy. I've had to get to the, end of the paper, but he says that the. Um, the, neg the ability to, ne to negate in philosophy or um, in the laws of logic show mm -hmm. that they are prescriptive. And if they are prescriptive, then it can't be. I mean, the universe can itself prescribe anything because they're not contained within the universe. Like, they there is a transcendental aspect to. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they're abstract. We'll just call them abstracts, you know, for the sake of the argument. Yeah. So. If they are prescriptive and abstract, I don't see how that wouldn't lead to a god. I mean, that inference wouldn't lead to a god anyway. Oh, no, it, it might be... Um, well, oh, okay, so... Mm, it, it may be that that could lead to a contingent god. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think it well, could lead to a necessary god. Interesting. Uh, but, and again, I'm not even sure that... Um, you know, metaphysics can take us that far. I mean, only because I don't see how it could pass any kind of knowledge test. Well, yeah, I right. would just say that to falsify these laws, that you would have to right. use them to, I mean, to do the very thing you're trying to do to to uh, negate them. Like, you would mm -hmm. have to use the laws of logic to negate them. Yeah. I so mean, in that aspect, absolutely. wouldn't they be necessary? Or Well, the laws themselves... Uh, may be part of reality i could probably grant you that um in terms of uh but of course when we say the laws these are words that mm -hmm. we are using and they're descriptive right. so it's very difficult to like define those two as separate do you see what i'm saying yeah. there right so right. yeah we we've deliberately chosen these particular sounds in order to represent something that we see in the universe so what are we talking about the object or the description of the object obviously if it's a description it's descriptive that makes yeah sense. it's just yeah I, it, for, yeah i would agree that i would concede there yeah they are descriptive right. but i mean as far as i mean for our frame of reference they're descriptive but again like if we mm. depends on the object and that frame of reference would be different than our frame of reference so i that's where i would say that they're objective yeah okay i i, I can go some of the way down the road with you there to say um that uh yes if we grant that they are then objective because they really exist in the universe well all we're doing is saying that that's you know we're not going anything beyond um naturalism ne necessarily we can't get beyond naturalism by that kind of description mm -hmm. so that's the problem then for saying that there is a supernatural mind so it can't give you the, the the demonstration beyond anything which is 
the universe. Well, I mean, their properties themselves, like they don't have a physical natural property. I, I don't see how you could describe something natural. Like, I mean, you have to show like, let's say like the law of non-contradiction, it doesn't have like a physical property to it. Like time doesn't affect it. I would say you can't find them in space anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, they're immutable. They don't change. Right. Like see that type of stuff. I think to me, that'd be a metaphysical what we call this is something you can look into. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's called soy generous properties. Have you heard of that? Uh, sui generous, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, sui generous, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they would have unique properties that are, I would say, non natural properties. Sure, but know. that's that's confusing the distinction that we just made, though. Right between the actual laws and the descriptive part of the laws and the objects they refer to. Right, because the objects they refer to don't have those properties that you just mentioned. It's only the like the universals, as you were calling them, the abstracts, sorry, as you called them, that have those mm -hmm. properties. And those are the descriptive part of the 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 equation, as it were. Right, they would be um, inferential of those properties. Is that what you're saying? Like we don't we we couldn't test like those properties per se, but they're inferential. Uh, those properties that you listed apply are only necessary to the abstract uh, portion. Right, right, right. Not the, not the universal, or not the, I don't know, not the natural or the the objects themselves that give us that we're trying to describe when we come up with those terms. Right. So, like an apple is an apple, right? and and right. it's not not an apple. Okay. Well, that phrase is the descriptive part of it. It's referring to an apple, though, isn't it? Right. So the I apple the isn't distinction... the apple isn't is eternal. Right? That's no, the, that's but... the object that we're referring to. But the phrase "an apple is an apple," you know, presumably is eternal, or at least abstract in the in the way we're using the language. Right. I think the uh, the defining point here is the difference between me saying something like giving testimony. Which which makes me a a truth bearer. I'm I'm bearing a truth, mm -hmm. versus uh, in the case of me speaking about an apple, the apple is the uh, is the object. It is objective, literally, mm -hmm. that that it is it is the truth holder. It is holding the truth of appleness, if you will, and right. then whatever I say about it is descriptive. But the apple itself is what's prescribing what I say. Sorry, the apple. Yes, is yeah. The prescription is the apple, and the, de right. the description is the law of logic that says an apple is an apple. I, th I think we've just covered that. But yeah, yeah, I agree. Hi, Olive. Hi, Sparinus. Jason and Doug. How you going? Good day, mate. Good day, Good day mate. Good day, mate. Cobra digger spot. <laughs> What he just I say? Come from the land down under. <laughs> Translate, boy, prize. Translate hey, for you, mate. Are you wearing your thongs, mate? Oh, uh, yeah, bloody of course. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, just, anyway, are, are we on the same page there, prize? Yeah, I think we are, but I guess my I guess I might look at a different their ontology since they're in the mind. That they're the definition of conceptual means that they're in the mind, but I think you would look at a mind as in a different. I think this comes down to our distinction of what is mind. Yeah, you know, we're not wearing those girly thongs. We wear those thongs on our feet, right? Yeah, no, you're you're right there, Price. Yeah, you you actually spot on. Yeah, that would be. A yeah, so I just think that's positions. our dividing line is what we consider minds. So I think they mm. have a mental ontology to them, which would be immaterial to me, which would you know, probably um, have some type of inference to it, like the mind of God or something. But I say, I, I, yeah. that's our, you would look at it completely different because you don't look at mind the same way I do. Yeah. No, absolutely. I think mind is, uh, is synonymous with brain in terms of, in terms of, uh, what's the word? Process. Yeah. Process. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We're pretty much spot on, man. You're, are you like a philosopher too? Or what's like, no, are you treating no. That? Oh, okay. no, no. I mean, I've been around the community for like whatever ten years, so you pick shit up, you know what I mean? Exactly. I want to be a philosopher. I want to be like Aristotle, that's contemplating the bust of Homer. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, just get a chip in your brain, mate. Save all the time and um, effort. I'm not sure there was a bust of Homer, to be fair. Um, I think Simos is a fan of logic. That's fair to say. Oh, yeah, no, I do like me some logic, yeah. Absolutely. I did mathematics at uh, when I was a kid, yeah. Is that Mr. S and S is exact thing? I can't even see the name there. <laughs> That's for you, Jason. Oh, thanks, Mike. It's kind of like saying Art of Xerxes, but you say S to Xanathan. S to Xanathan, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mike. <laughs> You all have to put that nice shiny smile on. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you well, yeah, that, I mean, have you seen that new filter? No. You can get there's a filter that every time you make a smile, it exaggerates it. Oh wow! Well, there might be yes. a million times exaggeration on it, mate, because Doug and I are smiling our heads off. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Quite funny. Not to pick on. Yeah, them, if you can, can if you can pronounce Artaxerxes, you can say Asta Xanathan. <laughs> <laughs> We're not Americans. We don't speak like that. <laughs> yeah, we don't speak like that weird lingo. Asta Xanathan. Yeah, yeah I, I, I sort of get that. Oh crikey! <laughs> what a shit on the Barbie oh, mate! Oh, <laughs> crikey! Oh crikey! For crying out loud. Oh, versus J. Ooh, now that would be a hell of a debate. <laughs> Jay Who wrote that? Who, who's the sucker for punishment then? <laughs> so, Dave, your buddy uh, Brandon came on Graham's stream earlier and he claimed he had uh, like worlds. Top model. Holy Bible, King James Version is actually the Holy Spirit. So the, the King James Bible is part of the Trinity. <laughs> the guy is completely unsaved with a false God. So he doesn't believe there's a literal Holy Spirit. It's, it's The Holy Spirit is actually the Bible. Wow. Is that that guy that was in there last night? Yeah, and, and oh. it, was, it was crazy because Miles Kettleson from Answering Adventism was on talking to Graham about Seventh-day Adventism. He was in there. And Graham had to step away from it, so he started talking, and it threw Miles off guard. He's like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> and then, you know, Miles exposed him. He's getting into the Trinity. He's like, "Man, on that hate yeah, man, you know, Eric, and you and you my hand, you believe in God." What? All right, go ahead, Jason. I know you love the babble. You go ahead. Is the Holy Spirit God? Yeah, I was just saying, the guy on there. That I know a lot of plastic surgeons. I like if he if he's interested. That's all. Oh my God. What, I do find, like, what I find interesting about that yes, is that I have heard the Holy Spirit referred to as the Word of God. And I've heard, really? also heard the Bible referred to as the Word of God. <laughs> my God. So, but in different senses, as I, as I was led to understand. Well, they so, do co indwell with each other, though. So I, it's not they're, they're they're indivisible. Like, see, people look at the Trinity as if they're divisible, like a material uh, constitution. Mm. They they're a metaphysical constitution, so there is no space in between them. Like, there's not three heads or something in the Trinity. All they do is share three or care or traits of personhood or three different traits of persons. That's all they. Yeah. That's all they have. The properties. But uh, how equal, how powerful, how eternal. Co, yeah, yeah, yeah. Codependent. Yeah. Well, I suppose so in a way. Coarctate. Coeds. So the Holy Spirit. Coeds. Coeds. Co <laughs> I couldn't hear because Jason was talking. Was the Holy Spirit God? Yes. Is God the Holy Spirit? Yes. Is the Father God? Yes. Is the Holy Spirit God? Yes. Is is Jesus Christ God? Yes. Is Jesus the Holy Spirit? No. 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 Really? No, he sends the Holy Spirit in John 14. 
he didn't send himself <laughs> this is where the unit or the uh oneness pentecostal slash yeah, yeah. Yep. heretics false gods yep have you not read Romans eight nine. Yes, they co indwell. So the Holy Spirit and the Son they co indwell. I think that's what people miss is they think that they're again like three separate heads or persons or something like the like the Mormon gods. No. As as no, basic like, logic praise, you brought up identity. And have you ever chased down uh, the idea of identity in the Trinity? Yes. I, I, Me and Jake, the metaphysician, went down on that. I had a whole response. In fact, I should put it up. That's yep. a good idea. Such an unfortunate phrase. You, well, you the Holy Spirit average. isn't Jesus. No. They're different. No. Well, we'll look at John 14. We'll look at John 14, 16 to 18. Jesus is not the Holy Ghost. Of course not. John 14, 16 to 18. Of course, you know, guys, as soon as you start talking about the Trinity, you have to do people one at a time because everyone's going to have differences on it. Right. Are we still saved heretics? I, I believe that you all will be saved. Peace and respect, Dave. <laughs> See, there's uh, someone to show uh, Richard. Say, what do you say after I say that you say uh, Maui Bow or something? <laughs> that we respectfully bow. Is that what is that what you were thinking too, Richard, when you say that? I'm just curious. I'm not what? trying to make fun of it. I, I bow to people as a sign of respect to them. Yes. Oh, okay. is that like so a, you, is that like an Eastern Asian type thing or? Actually, yes, it is. That's what I thought. It's an Asian yeah. sort of tradition. We got the Habevo on tap here, Dave. So let's Habevo on tap. <laughs> you said John fourteen sixteen. You said I thought. Uh, what did I say? Uh, yeah, let me look again here. Yeah, John fourteen sixteen to eighteen. And I will pray. The Father. Okay. And he shall give you another comforter. Okay. That he may abide with you forever. Oh. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him. For he dwelleth within you and shall be in you. And now I. Now look at that next verse. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yeah. Well, that's, so that, that's, that's him. Like, well, no. The spirit I mean, of truth. So they can co indwell with each other. So that, all this to me is just showing the perichoresis that they can co indwell with each other. That's all. Christ uh, what, in you is not what, Jesus. What, what, <clears throat> remember, the Bible tells us that the fullness of the Godhead dwelt. Christ uh, bodily, yeah. wherever Kevin, the Father Christ in you is not Jesus. Spirit, Kevin? you can't separate them. Christ in you is not Jesus, Kevin. Did you just listen to what I said? You can't separate the, the Trinity. Wherever the Father is, the Son is also, and and, and the Holy Spirit. That you can't separate them. So Christ is in you. Right, Why, wherever where Jesus one go? is, the others are. Like you, they, they're not; they're inseparable. Like this, see, this is like they, they're one and three at the same time. So they have unity and plurality together. It's, um, it's sort of paradoxically true. If you ever look in philosophy, something like a paradox, it, it doesn't, it, it can mean something that is like incoherent. But it, another way of looking at it is, a, it's something that goes beyond comprehension, but it is true. So it's like a paradoxically truth or paradoxical truth. But yeah, I mean, I don't see that this doesn't really challenge. I mean, that's a good one though, Dave, I can see where you're coming from, but let me show you one. Other, I'm going to talk. I mean, I'm going to show you an example of what I'm talking about. Like Romans eight, nine.
But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. So that's the S, capital S there, the King James, but the uh, capital S there because they're denoting the second or the third person of the Godhead. If so, be that the spirit of God dwelleth, dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, so now we have the spirit of his Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and then the spirit of Christ, but they, it's, it's, a, it's a co-indwelling here. He is none of his. So it shows the Trinity. Like, yeah, they, it's not like they're three separate beings or something. So I think people have this the false understanding of it. That's all. Doesn't the Trinitarian believe that they're three separate beings? No, there's one they being. No, persons. no, that's, they persons. Persons. that's tritheism. That's what they say. Is. Persons is persons beings or are beings persons or is it something different? Well, no, you're a human being, so your person's a human, but you have the the essence of being. You share, so you have shared properties of other human beings. But then you have individual, an individual instantiation of human of yourself of a person. So you, Dave, is a personal instantiation of being of a human being. So we share the all all human be, all human beings share the the being part of humans but then we're all different part or instantiations of humanness so it's, maybe i kind of screwed that up, but it's it's hopefully that made sense but. yeah there is one being of god but within uh, that being of god there's three persons you just can't make any comparison i mean it's just how it is right go to genesis 18. Oh, is this where they've seen three? Is this where you've seen three of them here? I love this one. Yep. Who's the Lord with all caps? And the Lord appeared to him in the plains of Mamre. That's Yahweh. Is it? Can anybody see Jehovah. Yahweh? Yeah. What's the uh, he, what's the Hebrew word you say? Jehovah. Lord? Yeah, I'll put it up. Hold on. There it is. Yeah, Yahweh. There it is. Three zero six eight. Okay. Yahoo. I'm sorry, Yahovah. I'm like I hate saying Jeho I say Jehovah because it's like Englishly correct, but it. There you Has go. anyone seen Yahweh at any time? Not the father. So who is this? And he looked up his eyes and looked, lo, three men stood by him. Doug and I give each other cauliflower ears every now and then when we try to beat it, beat each other's faces in, but cauliflower. Can I have some cauliflower? <laughs> Can you pull up first John five seven? I love that one. And look yeah, what it says good. in Genesis eighteen twenty two. And, and the men turned their faces from thence, went towards Sodom, but Abraham stood yet before who? The Lord. Who's that? That is Yahweh. So you can see Yahweh. Yahweh. That was Jesus. Yeah, that's the angel of the Lord. Yeah. Yahweh? Yeah. Jesus. Look up Hebrew for angel of the Lord. Yeah, Malik. Yeah, it's Malik Yahweh. Oh, look, I'll put it up, show you though. Yeah, well, what was the point of you uh, asking this, Dave? It seems he's pointing difference. out inconsistencies in reading frame, actually. For well, educational, educational purposes, that's what he wants to know. That's yeah, right. Doug and I might sound nice to each other on 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 deal, but out of it, you know, we're you know not so How nice to each other. Richard, Melok Yahweh, yeah. Some of them actually have like ha, ha, um, or f ha, the article and particle in some of them. 
That's funny because I think really Yahweh should be translated God there in the English. I think that we should read Angel of God, not Angel of the Lord. Cause, because Lord can mean governor. It can mean a lot of things. It doesn't mean... Yeah, Jehovah. but when you put it in all capitals, you know what it's referring to. Well, no, this is the trans... Yeah. This is the transliteration. It's actually there. So this isn't like uh, a donut that doesn't have like a transliteration or anything. So yeah, that is. So, uh, you know, Richard, where, where, so where's the inconsistency? Well, we're all strange. We need education. Well, you know, Dave made a great point here, and I because he says no one's seen the Father. So, but. I took this to be the Trinity that Abraham saw three, like the three persons of the Trinity. But if no one's seen the Father, then how can he see him? So maybe this has nothing to do with the, the Trinity here. So I might have to uh, discard this passage. What do you mean, discard the passage? Well, no, it was no, because one of them, one of them had to have been Jesus, because it says that Yahweh called fire from Yahweh, and the other two were angels. Well, no, that's the next one. That's in nineteen. We're talking about eighteen, though, with Abraham. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same story, though. And I'm pretty sure that goes into it. Yeah. Oh, e yes. But, I mean, this particular yeah. account, though, like, this is different than the one with the Psalm and Gomorrah, where there's fire from heaven on one on the earth and one on... Yeah, this but were the other two men with him, the angels that went into the city, and they wanted to rape the angels? Yeah, so that could yeah. be the answer. I'm pretty sure this is the same. Like this goes into the next chapter. So you had the Lord, and then you had he had two angels with him. The two angels yeah. went into the city, and then that's when Lot tried to offer his daughters. Um, and then the one that stayed back, which was pre-incarnate Jesus, he's he, he calls himself, you know, Yahweh rain fire from Yah. This goes into yeah. the next chapter. So there's no there's no problem here. No, I know. I'm just saying I took this as a Trinitarian text that all three of them, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit were here um, looking at Abraham. But now I'm thinking, no, that it's just the angel of the Lord himself with the two other angels. Right, right. Yeah, that's the only difference. I mean, this doesn't topple the Trinity or anything. It's just to me, it just shows that I, I can't use this passage now for a Trinitarian text. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're right. No, because only one was God. The other two were angels. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I took them all three as all three persons of the Trinity there. I know Matt Slick does. He, Didn't he, God he, prepare he an angel God. many times? Yeah. The son is the image of, of God, the father. Well, no one can see the father because the Bible says the father is invisible. Yeah, I mean, well, he his image is in, put into the sun, though. Like, so the well, Moses was up on the mountain, and he only didn't he, even get to see his face, and he only got to see his feet. And after spending that time, he got the full glory of God. He came down from there, glowing. Afterwards, he represents the Father. Yeah, Jason, how do you know that wasn't the sun? That Moses met on Mount Sinai. That wasn't the Father. It says that was Father? Jesus Christ. That was the who he met on the mountain. It was exactly. the Creator, Jesus well, Christ. Well, thank you, Dave. That's. I mean, that's good. I learned something, so I'm glad I can conform to a new truth now. So I'm taking that out of my book for Trinitarian apologetics. So much thanks, Dave. Much thanks. Let me find this for. Um, so the the law of identity. I'm gonna I'm gonna show that with Jake, the metaphysician, for Richard here. Give me a second. The all city. Bruh. 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 What do you mean discard the passage? Well, no, it was, no, because one of them, 
one of them had to have been Jesus because it says that Yahweh called fire from Yahweh, and the other two were angels. Oh no, that's the next one. That's in nineteen. We're talking about eighteen though, with Abraham. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same story though. I'm pretty sure that goes into it. Yeah. Oh. Um, yes, but I mean this particular yeah. account though, like this is different than the one with the. Psalm and Gomorrah, where there's fire from heaven on one on the earth and one on. Yeah, this but were the other two men with him the angels that went into the city and they wanted to rape the angels? Yeah, so that could yeah. be the answer. I'm pretty sure this is the same. Like this goes into the next chapter. So you had the Lord, and then you had he had two angels with him. The two angels yeah. went into the city, and then that's when Lot tried to offer his daughters, um, and then the one that stayed back, which was pre-incarnate jesus he's he calls himself you know yahweh rain fire from yah this goes into yeah. the next chapter so there's no there's no problem here no i know i'm just saying i took this as a trinitarian text that all three of them the father son and the holy spirit were here um looking at abraham but now i'm thinking no that it's just the angel of the lord himself with the two other angels right right yeah, that's the only difference. I mean, this doesn't topple the Trinity or anything. It's just, to me, it just shows that I, I can't use this passage now for a Trinitarian text. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're right. No, because only one was God. The other two were angels. Yeah. Yeah, That's I took them all three as all three persons of the Trinity there. I know Matt Slick does. He, he God he, prepares he an God. many times. Yeah, the Son is the image of, of God, the Father. Well, no one can see the Father because the Bible says the Father is invisible. Yeah, I mean, well, he his image is in, put into the Son, though. Like, so the, well, Moses was up on the mountain, and he only didn't he, even get to see his face, and he only got to see his feet. And after spending that time, the body came down from there glowing. Afterwards. He represents the father, yeah. Jason, how do you know that wasn't the son that Moses met on Mount Sinai? That wasn't the father? It says that was father? Jesus Christ. That was the who he met on the mountain. It was exactly. the creator, Jesus well, Christ. Well, thank you, Dave. That's, I mean, that's good. I learned something, so I'm glad I can conform to a new truth now. So I'm taking that out of my book for Trinitarian Apologetics. So much thanks, Dave. Much thanks. Let me find this for... Um, so the the law of identity that I'm gonna I'm gonna show that with Jake the metaphysician God, the Father. Well, no one can see the Father because the Bible. Says
says the father is invisible. Yeah, I mean, sorry about that gap there. I'd forgotten I'd left it recording when I was doing something. But there you go. Well, he his image is in, put into the sun, though. Like so, the well, Moses was up on the mountain, and he only he, didn't even get to see his face, and he only got to see his feet. And after spending that time, God, he came down from there glowing. After well, he his image is in, put into the sun, though. Like so, the well, Moses was up on the mountain, and he only he didn't he, even get to see his face, and he only got to see his feet. And after spending that time, glory of God, he came down from there glowing. Afterwards, he represents the Father. Yeah, Jason, how do you know that wasn't the sun? That Moses met on Mount Sinai. That wasn't the Father. It says that was the Jesus Christ. That was the who he met on the mountain. It was exactly. the Creator, Jesus well, Christ. Well, thank you, Dave. That's. I mean, that's good. I learned something, so I'm glad I can conform to a new truth now. So I'm taking that out of my book for Trinitarian apologetics. So much thanks, Dave. Much thanks. I'm gonna find this for. Um, so the, the the law of identity. I'm gonna I'm gonna show that with Jake, the metaphysician, for Richard here. Give me a second. The all city. Bruh. 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 Yeah, I've uh, covered Jake several times. <laughs> Me and him have came across or ran into each other numerous times. Oh, I gotta go outside again. My son's so dumb. Yeah. But you <coughs> aided me there, Dave. Thank you. What did I do? What did I do? You helped me change my viewpoint on Genesis 18. What is from where? From what to what? So in Genesis 18, too, I used to, I had the idea that the three people there in front of Abraham were the Trinity. But you're right that no man has seen the Father. So it can't be. So in other words, it can't be the Father there, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in front of Abraham. So you may, you helped change my, you me change me on that. Don't blame me for it. Well, praise all you had to do was read that passage and continue into the next chapter, and would have told you that the other two were angels. Yeah, I mean, I heard it from Matt Slick, but also <laughs> Anthony Rogers does it too. So I'm just saying, Anthony really? Rogers better be really careful. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's a mistake. Yep. Are you sure? Maybe you misunderstood Anthony Rogers because he's usually really careful with that. What's the Lord going to say to me one day when he says, uh, News Unit, David, uh, step over here for a moment. Don't you know, were David. worshiping the Holy Bible, the authorized King James Version. You were bowing down to an idol. Yeah. yeah. A little G true. God. That is true. That is an idol. Yes. So you know what I'm going to do? That is an idol, isn't it? Well, yeah. If you're worshiping a book, yeah, that's a, that's. Is the Holy Bible authorized King James Version an idol? I'm specifically describing the book that I'm worshiping. Only God alone receives worship, not books. So would He consider that to be idolatry? Duh. I don't understand why. Why do you ask this? You know this. You know the answer. No, I'm serious. Questions. This is an interesting question. That's. Uh, oh, it's not. It's stupid. You know the answer. Stop it. Well, what would is, you say to a Catholic that worships the cross, their their Catholic cross? Would you say that's idolatry, Dave? Of course. Yes. I didn't say anything yet. You guys are answering for me. 
Oh, it is idolatry, mate. If you worship a cross with Jesus hanging off it, going blah, and and you kiss it and that, you, you're worshiping an idol, man. And and, and 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 if you if you pray to Mother Mary to bring you closer to the Lord, then you're praying to a dead woman to bring you closer to the Lord. You don't need a a dead woman as a go between between you and the Lord. So, yeah. Catholics do a lot of heresies, man. I don't understand how my Holy Bible, my authorized King James Version book Bible over here can be an idol. I'd have to burn it. Because you're not supposed to worship it. Those are. That's Should I trans- burn my idols? Should I get rid of my idols? God. Should I burn it? Do you understand that's Should a book and it's not God? Should I put lighter fluid on it then and burn it since it's an idol? No, you just sub. Love- Worship what it says. Worship itself. Not Would you worship the book? Not the actual book. <laughs> this is that would be out of worship. Worship what the book says, Dave. You know this. So thing. actually, a holy Bible, authorized King James Version Bible, can be an idol. It can be a false little g god. Anything. Can be an idol. He's right. He's right. Actually, and you can make an idol out of anything. So I'm going to stand on the street corner with Mike the cop one day when he's preaching. I'm going to say, this is an idol. Oh, Dave, you're being stupid. Knock it off. No, really. No, not not really. You're, you're being. Oh, no, you being made stupid. it an idol, but that's it, it's not. It, what it says is what you worship. You worship God in truth You can and make spirit, the Dave. word of God an idol. So you if worship... I write a book, am I that book? I'm not talking about any just any book. You know what I'm, I'm talking just about. I'm curious. I'm just saying if if, if I write we're not bound down to you know Harry Potter <laughs> or <laughs> 22 or you know ESV Bibles or NIV Bibles. We're bound down. I'm bound down to the Holy Bible, the Authorized King James Version. Yeah, but it's so not. Why are you working? Stupid! Come on, this is common sense. This is like preschool, like Sunday school, dude. Give me a break. All right, so here's here's my response to I, this is going to help out Richard here with the the logical problem of the Trinity. It's called indexicals, but I think I'm just going to play a few minutes. Let's let everyone listen in, and then we'll we'll, we'll stop in here. Here we go. Doesn't know all the. I mean, Mac does know a lot, though. I'm not I'm not trying to diminish Matt at all, but I I I've done a lot of research into the um, relative identity. So this is on Stanford EDU. <laughs> I mean, this is a, a um, you know, I, I would say a international syndication. So like Jay Campbell. We Stanford. Well, That's more fun than that. Stanford EDU. <laughs> well, yeah, duh. <laughs> Stanford. In other words, it's a reputable source. Shut up, praise. <laughs> BDU is an international is an international syndication. So, whine and cry to your mama, Jake, for all I care. So, let's just go through a couple of points here. I hope people get understanding what what the argument is. That we, when we talk about the identity of the members of the Trinity, it's stupid to me to try to argue through an absolute identity. So why can't multiple divine selves be one and the same God? It would seem that by being the same God, they must be numerically the same entity. So this is Jake's argument. They must be numerically the same entity. They are really one, and so they can't differ in any way. That is, this one entity can't differ from itself, but then they really, it can't be different divine selves. So this is what your absolute identity theorists believe, that it has to be numerically one. But Can relative I get a identity theorist, this goes all the way back to top. Thank you. Um, wh- is it is it my memory, or was this directly to address the Trinity, the the relative identity theory? It was to address the absolute identity theory that it has to be numerically one, and the, I was be- because of why. Idea. Because the argument is based on the idea that um, the identity of a person must be univocal. Okay, so so the only exception that we know of that is, is a is a tri person in the Christian God. Yes. Right. Do we know of another example of that? No. 
Okay, so this argument was made to address the Trinity specifically. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thomas Aquinas. So it's, this is not just a modern invention. It's not ad hoc. This has been around for millennia. Relative identity theorists think there is some mistake in this reasoning. So that things may be different some things, yet the same something else. They hold that the above reasoning falsely assumes something about the numerical sameness. They hold that the numerical sameness or identity either can be or always is relative to a kind or concept. So relative identity theorists are concerned to rebut this sort of argument. The father is God, the son is God, therefore the father is the son. So this is the argument we heard from Jake bring this up many times, many times. Each occurrence of is here is interpreted as identity absolute. Oh, there's your air, Jake. Automatically overturn your stupid presupposition, your assumptions about metaphysics. See, do you see how Jake tries to manipulate arguments uh, philosophically? <laughs> <to his advantage? laughs> I mean, anyone could have called him out for this. Who Probably. said that the predication the has to be absolute dive. identity? That's based on what? Your no, that's, feelings, your, no, your that, anecdotal that's, opinions. That's Leibniz's law so, of identity, isn't relative it? Relative identity. Right. So, so, do you think the Le Leibniz's identity theory is it? Do you think it's un or flawed, or do you think it's uh, uh, yeah. airtight? No, I, mean, I, mean, I think it's, it's airtight in the abstract. It's flawed in reality. Okay, that's my personal my personal view. Wow. Yeah, I appreciate you adding that. It's something to think about. <clears throat> yeah, Seems I mean, like, it, we're going to get into this right here. So it, it doesn't make any sense when you think about uh, two things, which are oh, sugar. I just, uh, I'm just playing a game. Sorry, it, it doesn't make any sense when you think about two things, which are uh, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here, which are identical but in a different space or different time. Right? So it doesn't seem to me that to say all the properties are identi identical is the correct phrase. Yes, I would agree. Yeah. And we can give examples of that. So I'm, I'm, I'm not, yeah. I'm, when I say yeah. this, I'm not meaning to demean anyone here because people are going to say, oh, you're you're being anti like LGBTQ, but I'm just giving an example. So someone might identify Based on what? Your no, that's, feelings, your, no, your that, anecdotal that's, opinions. That, that's Leibniz's law so, of identity, isn't relative it? Relative identity. Right. So, so, do you think the Le Leibniz's identity theory is it? Do you think it's un or flawed, or do you think it's uh, uh, yeah. airtight? No, I, mean, I, mean, I think it's, it's airtight in the abstract. It's flawed in reality. Okay, that's my personal my personal view. Wow. Yeah, I appreciate you adding that. It's something to think about. <clears throat> yeah, I mean... Like, it, we're going to get into this right here. Sorry, it doesn't make any sense when you think about uh, two things which are... Oh, sugar. I'm just, uh, I'm just playing a game. Sorry. It, it doesn't make any sense when you think about two things which are uh, like... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Which are identical but in a different space or different time. Right? So it doesn't seem to me that to say all the properties are identi identical is the correct phrase. Yes, I would agree. Yeah. And we can give examples of that. So I'm, I'm, I'm not, yeah. I'm, when I say yeah. this, I'm not meaning to demean anyone here because people are going to say, oh, you're you're being anti like LGBTQ, but I'm just going to give an example. So someone might identify like as a woman, but they but they were born as a man. So here's an example where they are born as a man, but they identify as something else than that. So See, that's me. That would. Yeah, <laughs> that, I mean, that, that's, 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 people that's give me a hard time for that. Sorry, yeah. appraise. I think that's an equivocation on the word identity. I mean, they're, they're meant in different ways there. Maybe, yeah. I mean, but yeah, how, I guess maybe how would we concert or qualify what is identity? But uh, I mean, that is a, a sort of a rough 
outline of like a an instance where maybe identity is not exactly absolute though so like maybe, yeah yeah maybe there's equivocation i think you, equivocation. you can give almost any example in reality and come to the same conclusion i think yeah right it's Those just when you get to actually. when you get to abstracts then like a circle is a circle right yeah. and the properties of a circle remain the same regardless of the uh, the type of circle you're talking about because there's only one type you know so obviously Sim that that law is a, you go ahead go ahead Sim simus are, are you talking about how every every actual thing is transitive is that what you're talking about maybe yeah like yeah. Uh, okay i'm me but i'm not the same me i was when i started this sentence yeah exactly that okay that, fine the indian Thank thing you. of you know you never step into the same river twice right you know yeah, those are good points to think about. Yeah, so I, I, yeah, so I guess relative identity, because I think that would address your argument of the Trinity, logical problem of the Trinity. And I, I haven't heard really Jake ever respond back to this. He, I, I sent it to him. He knew he was aware of it. So, I mean, if you have something better than Jake, I'd like to hear it, Richard, if you wanted to refute that. I didn't really come on to argue that. Oh, okay, I mean, I... Well, you, don't you argue the the logical problem of the Trinity, though? Or? Sometimes. Um, but I'm more interested, even above that, what the text has to say about itself. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least you can see prima facie that we have addressed that, though, at least. Like, maybe I'm not saying that we completely, like... Uh, uh, resolved it completely but at least we've addressed it and maybe we have an argument out there at least so that's all i wanted to show well, i appreciate that thank you no problem man so dave is a male lesbian that's what he claims right davy <laughs> bruh exactly <laughs> bruh. I'm a male lesbian and you know that's how i feel about it he just showed relative <laughs> identity. I'm a Christian male lesbian. <laughs> oh, man. So I think I want to show the example here because I have another paper I come up with. You think that's natural affection or unnatural? That is natural affection as you can get, bro. Yeah, this really goes, here's the indexical part, because he, here's like a little bit of an analogy the guy gives, but maybe is it the one I gave? I'm not sure, but let's see what he comes up with. I mm. have an automatic reference that is determined by the one speaking it. So how is, how is this relevant to the Trinity and also Jake the Metaphysician's objection? Are you trying to leverage an argument right into that? So, in Kaplan's theory, linguistic expressions have contents in or with respect to the context. Each context has at least an agent, time, location, and possible world associated with it. The content of... See, it says, how might we understand the content of the meaning of an indexical token of the sentence, I'm a female? And it kind of goes into how someone might have, like, a sex change or something. I'm going to say, I'm not trying to... Th I, mean, I mean, it's just for the sake of the argument I'm bringing it up, so that's all. I with respect to the context C is the agent of C. The context of a predicate with the respect of a context is a property or relation. The content of a sentence with respect to a context is a structured proposition that is a proposition can have individual can have individuals properties and relations as constituents. The content of a sentence S with respect to C is made up of the content of the worlds and we go any more into that stuff. So there we go. That was interesting going back in some of my old videos looking at that. That was awesome, right? We all are working together to get the truth out there. But uh Centurion says Bible study, Matthew 28, 19. Go, therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And also, he, he wanted me to show another one. I'm going to show that right now. So this is for some of the Trinitarian, um, the ones that are skeptics of the Trinity. We'll show that right now. I'm, I'm sure Richard's seen this one, but just in case he has them, we will put it up. 
First John 513. What do we do with this one, Richard? What do you do with this one? Wait a minute, that's not the one I'm thinking of. <coughs> oh, yuck. Oh, there it is, seven. I'm sorry. First First John 5, 7. What do you do there, Richard? For these, for, I'm sorry, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, which I take the Word there to mean the Christ, um, yeah. being the, the truth of the Father. And these three are one. So that, that works well as an argument against numerical identity because the wording here. Of course, I do know this is a translation. I, I do think they are one in purpose, which is evident throughout the text. They can be a composite one, though. They don't, they don't have to be numerically one. Well, as I said, this would be a good argument uh, against the idea of, well, f for the last argument you just shown, this would be good support for it. But I read this in purpose. I don't read this in identity. Mm, I'm sorry, I was distracted there for a second. Could you repeat that? I, I, could, you, could you go back to the last thing you had up there? Because the next line given there, what happened to it? Oh, you're sharing, you're sharing uh, oh, that's, screen here. Oh, that's Dave's. I was, yeah, Dave's, Dave, when sorry, the, Dave's he's screen. doing, he's pulling an ace philosophy right now. Yeah. I'm so a that was... <laughs> That was what? First John? Is that what you had up there? Is that what you yeah, said? Yeah, 5 7, yeah. First John. Okay. So the next line there is and there are three that bear witness in earth the spirit and the water and the blood. Now, certainly, you wouldn't say that in special identity, spirit, water, and blood are one, would you? In relative relativity identity, like that, water is blood, is spirit, is water. You would you would agree with that? Um, no. Let me, show, let, me, let, me give you guys, let me let me let me give you something just to, to chew on while you guys are thinking, and it won't distract you. There are three that bear record in heaven: the Father, the Word, capital W and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the spirit, little s, and the water, and the blood, and these three agree in one. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. Since when is this a trinity? There's threeness and oneness. That's all it's showing, that there's, we have a plurality, but they're one. So, just as like the the church is one with Christ, then God can also be three in one in, in the same time. Then why is wisdom mentioned as being with the Lord? That would be four, and wisdom's a she. Um, He's well, definitely correct. Well, the, the wisdom is represented as a separate entity from God, um, and, and is female. I, I can't, I can't say. Da I'd love to say Dave is wrong, but he's not. Uh, that is um, very Greek. I mean, Athena is the god of wis goddess of wisdom. Right. Let me but ask the question the this way: Since when is the Godhead with a capital G a Trinity? Since Jesus declared it in Matthew 28, but also I think First John here does too. I mean, I'm not sure with disconnect, you really, Dave. I mean, if you, I mean, you, you have right to disagree. I'm just saying I don't think you have merit to disagree. Well, I'm just throwing some tough questions out there for comment. I mean, I'll yeah. be back. I got to get a gallon of milk out of the garage. All right, man. 
So if we're going to go down this, uh, this path, it doesn't make sense to me, praise, and perhaps you would give a reasonable explanation why the Son should ever pray to the Father. Well, in their economy that um, Jesus was born from eternity, Psalms 2-7, so in their, in their economy, yes, that there is a hierarchy. <laughs> I obviously don't speak whatever language he's using. I apologize, sir. I don't if you're speaking to me. Yeah. Just ignore Crocodile Dundee's messing around all the time. Crocodile Dundee. So, yes, there is a hierarchy in the Godhead. Um, the fa it, You can say that, uh, this is the way I believe anyway, that the aseity uh, was given to the Son in, in, in John 5. But in their ontology, they're co-equal, though. It's just in their in their economy that there 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 is distinctions. Like the father is unbegotten, has the properties of being unbegotten. The son has the properties of being begotten, and so on. Okay, if if they have different properties, and prayer is necessity for different wills and different knowledge, that is. Uh, the cup pass, but your will, right? Yeah. Uh, that those are all differences. Then, then how can we say that it's one being? Well, first of all, it's Jesus and his deity. So Jesus was a a real human being. Like we, for some reason, that kind of gets lost with uh, people that have that uh, have some type of disagreement with the Trinity, like they forget that there's the human part of Jesus that made him human. So yes, Jesus had a human will outside of God himself, of, the, of his uh, divine will. So he had a real human will and man's will. So I would say that is the will. It's not the divine will. So yes, there was two different wills, but they were united through his nature. Well, let's, let's go ahead and grant the dichotomy in the God man that he has he is perfectly God and perfectly man because I think that's relatively clear I think most of us would agree on that yes yeah so let's let's grant that dichotomy but the father does not experience that dichotomy yes no mm -mm. okay so so then aren't they different they're different in their ontologies yes but they're not different in their nature they share the same nature I'm if by nature you mean purpose intent mission I'm totally good with that is that what you mean by nature or yeah. do you mean something do they're you mean only accord, those things will. no not do you mean only in one accord do you mean more than no. that okay no. what else do you mean I mean, I doesn't all that comes to my mind. I can't really think of all of it right now, but uh, they share the same will, purpose, hope, and um, they were they were not at uh, odds with each other. They they're all in uh, harmony with each other. So again, they're not like three separate heads or something like like a three snaked head god or something like the ancient Near East believed. Uh, so maybe it's just hard to explain to people. Like, like you have to look at it in a metaphysical sense to understand it. Well, in a metaphysical sense, um, you and I and other Christians want people to come to belief in God. And you have an approach and I have an approach and someone else might have a different approach. So, I could say that we're all of the same spirit in that sense, yeah? But that doesn't mean that you're me. Um, 
Yeah, well, depends what you like. Where where do you? What we mean with the shared the shared properties of the Trinity are all in the being of his being, his essence, not in the person. See, there's a there's a difference between the persons and the being of God, his essence. I understand the if if you'll agree with me on the definitions of person and being. Uh, a being is anything that exists. A rock has being. This computer has being. Okay, because it is yeah. in the process of be. It is being, literally. Okay, but a person has some minimal intellect. There, there is some level at which awareness uh, could be low enough that I wouldn't call that that thing a person. If that's fair. Um, are you saying like consciousness, or is that what you're going with? Yes, it? there's some. There are different levels of consciousness, but I have a minimal consciousness to call a thing a person. Yeah. Like for instance, a dog has consciousness. I still wouldn't call it a person, though. Um. Yeah. So, like, you would say that they would have uh, some type of. Um, Sentience? Is that what you're getting at? Sure, absolutely. Mycelium has sentience, apparently. But I wouldn't call it a person. Right. So, when you said, you know, at a metaphysical level, I think we're only talking about at the metaphysical level. Right. Okay. So, I, I don't see necessarily in the text where it's declaring anything other than that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, yes, I attributes, but um, they're not in disaccord. So what was your statement with? So, I mean, like, another god is just representative of all three so it's not like a separate entity outside of it so you have, you have the, the only distinguishment is god the father god the son and god um what's the right word right there? cretan 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 good night sparrow i got idea i want to type this message <laughs> Totally agree, Blaze. You've, you've dumped yourself big time. <laughs> Gee golly, how's it going there, mate? We're doing good. I want you all to know, I want I want Kevin to know specifically, I hold nothing against you, Kevin. Um, I respect your attitude, uh, your opinions. I do. Have a great night, guys. You too, man. Take care. Yeah, peace and respect. Peace and respect. Peace respect. Thank you. Are you kidding? Yeah. But, um, I mean, there, we can remember, like, see, the problem with the Trinity, it's not univocal, it's analogical, so we have to analogically speak in analogies with God. We can't speak on a one-to-one -one correspondence, and a God that can be articulated in a univocal sense is not a God. It, and this is what even John Chrysostom said, a God that can be comprehended is no God. So I think that just makes it, I think, is more evidence to the point that yeah that god is outside our understanding at some points so yeah i'm a male lesbian i'm a cretan i'm an imbecile i'm not a christian i'm hubbevo holy bible authorized version only i'm an apostate ripper reprobate i'm anathema i worship the holy bible av i want to type this message <laughs> Totally agree, Blaze. You've, you've dumped yourself big time. <laughs> Gee golly, how's it going there, mate? We're doing good for Tasmania's digger. <laughs> Bombs are ripper. Cover digger. Cup of niggas spot. I want a dingo. Exactly, mate. You fucking ripped him a new one. Good on you. 
He's continuing to write here. Now turn your Bibles to my favorite Genesis <laughs> chapter. <laughs> In yeah, well, it, it's a bit soft then, mate, because I'd argue with you face to face if I didn't agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's really all I know. Don't I great, am... Dan, yourself praise you. you you're, you're the smartest guy I know, man. <laughs> and I've got university degrees, so I can prove it. <laughs> Wow, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, no, I there's so much I'm learning. No, I'm biblical day. stuff. I mean, not engineering because oh, I'm an engineer by trade, so I I can't yeah. argue biblically so much. I mean, my, my grandfather was. I mean, my uncle was a minister, but I got it drilled into me. But I know a bit about it. So, good night, Sparrow. Back idea. Good night, Sister Sparrow. God bless. Good night, Sparrow. And good night, honey. I'm just now seeing your text. Good night, Kevin. I love you. All right. Thanks, Sparrow. Yes. Oh, we got to do a word study tonight on Cretan. You Cretan. You Cretan, Tom. <laughs> Wait a minute. There it is, Cretan. Oh, you got it on there already. <laughs> is that the Miriam Webster's thing or what? <laughs> no. Don't you dare tell me I have the no Greek. patience, you lying, lobotomized, driveling cretin. <laughs> I'm the great version of cretin. Yeah, and I'll keep blocking cretin. you because you're a moron. Cretin, 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 <laughs> cretin, 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 cretin. It's cretin, not cretin. Now listen, yeah, look at the screen here. Don't you dare tell me I have no patience. Check out, oh, check out this. Check out the definition. He's, not, he's got an Australian accent, Dave. He could say Cretan. Yeah, okay. We'll let him slide. Often check offensive. Yeah, let us slide. We're Aussies, mate. We deserve a bit of slide. Check out the Greek definition of Cretan. Often offensive. <laughs> One afflicted with Cretanism. <laughs> now, look oh, what it says here. Chronic educational status. <laughs> So, Dave, are you going to rebuke your buddy for saying that the King James Bible is the Holy Spirit? No, because it is. Why? No, it's not. That's blasphemy. No, I'll show you where Paul talks about it too. You want to the see Bible, it? the Bible is not God. the 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 the, the book that was printed in sixteen eleven is not eternal. That's not that's not God. It's forever settled in heaven. What are you talking about? You're more. What are you talking about? Sorry, guys. So, Dave, you, you, think, you think a book that was printed in the eternal God? God's from everlasting to everlasting. Did he not know his word? So the King James Bible was hovering over the waters in Genesis 1? So, in other words, God didn't know his word a long time ago. He had no idea about it in his foreknowledge. No, God his, words are, his words for... Forever settled in heaven. You're making a mistake by making God's words English. They, God's words are not English. God's words are eternal. The, what he wanted spoken or what he wanted recorded is what he gave How us. Long are they why are you why are you putting the English on such a level? It's 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 ridiculous. And quite frankly, it's kind of, it's paganism, dude. Do you worship Hebrew? No, I don't. I don't worship the Bible at all. I worship I worship Is the Hebrew one that on a higher God. level than English. I worship God, the one that spoke those words. I don't worship his words. I worship him. Right. <laughs> we Did worship the spirit words? and truth, Dave. That's right. You're, you're trying to limit God to some physical thing that you can hold in your hand, a book. Well, I'm God not limiting not God. God is unlimited. Well, if you, if you agree with your blasphemous demonic friend that the Bible is the Holy Spirit, then you're not saved. Then I'm not saved. I mean, th that that that's ridiculous. A book is not the tr is not a member of the Trinity. Then I'm not saved. Well, no, I mean, I if you honestly believe that, because I think you're just playing around. But if no, you, I, I do believe it. I hope that's. I hope you're just kidding, because that's terrible. What do you mean you're not saved? 
Are you committing idolatry or sacrilege? So, Dave, your friend. Are you telling me that the Holy Bible, the authorized case, tell me it's an idol? Wait a minute. This is just a blasphemy for something that is an idol. Come on, just say it. The Holy Bible, authorized King James Version, your idol. Tell me. Tell me that. This is bad. Praise. This is just as bad as Ace Philosophy, man. I'm serious. This is wacko. This is weak. You won't say it, will you? Tell God it's an idol. Tell him. Tell him the Holy Bible, the authorized King James Version. Tell him it is. I do you not understand English? It's, you're making. I don't it think you idol. do either. I, I think you're being ridiculous. Maybe so we the KJV oh. existed uh, before the world was. So how come Abraham and Moses? I didn't have the KJV. Well, how did God know Je uh, Jeremiah before he was in the belly? He knew him. Yeah, but he's not God. And Jeremiah is not God. No, we didn't say he was. We know that. Totally two different things. So, what... you're taking Jeremiah to make it look like Jeremiah is a similitude he's a human of the being. word of God. And, and Jeremiah is a, a human being. Dave, is he not? We're not talking about of that. Of course, God knew you too. He knew me. He knew Kevin. He Just knew call Brian. the word. Call and the Holy Bible the authorized King James version an idol. Do it. So, call it an idol. Okay, so tell me how is it an idol KJV or isn't it? Existed before. The I want to know was. if it's an idol. Was the KJV the light in uh, Genesis one? The entrance of thy words give light. Of saying, course, it's light. It gives the understanding out of the symbol. Okay, so tell me how. And when uh, Moses and uh, Abraham and Isaiah and Jeremiah, even the minor prophets, walked around with the KJV in their hand. I didn't God, say any such thing. Them. I can't okay. tell you that. So you cannot make a book a God. No, you're wrong. You're, 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 your argument is invalid. It makes no sense at all. Christ is alive, not the book. The words are alive, not the book. You Tell me it's an idol. The book. Tell me the Holy Bible, the you author can destroy the book, idol. Dave, but you cannot destroy God. Tell me how I destroy God. No, I said you can I'm worshiping destroy his word. the book, but you I cannot can't destroy, it. De destroy God. So if I take a KJV Bible and throw it in a fire, it's gone. It's dust. Is it? Yeah, it's gone. It's if it's I take dust. you and throw you in a fire, are you gone? Well, yeah, I'm not God. So God's not going to put you back together again, like Humpty Dumpty one day. Well, no, I go back to God. The spirit it returns back to its creator. What to happens to the soul? To be with what happens the to the soul? But why are you deflecting? Get back on to the KJV. Tell me how the KJV was before the world was. Tell me how the KJV was. I didn't say the KJV was. was. In God Genesis had it in his one. mind. Who had known the mind of the Lord? You're, Lord, you're, saying, you this you're saying the King James Version of the Bible is the Holy Spirit. So, yeah. yeah. So, stop it. So the, so, the K, so, the K, so, the KJV had part in making uh, this world? Is that what you're saying, Dave? And part of in the uh, beginning was the word. The word tells me about the word. The book. little W word explains the so word to me. Book. I don't know who the oh, word the is. word is Jesus Christ. The word is the word with a capital W, you're whether you like it or not. An, an idol. You worship God, not a book. You serve God. Not the Holy a Bible, book. the authorized King James Version. You're saying it's the word. If I not speak the word. Chinese, I'm gonna read a Chinese Bible, and I'm gonna serve God in my Chinese ness. You can take this English shit and get out of town. God is not a respecter of a persons. Christ Himself was not even English. Dave, you blasphemous fool. What? John is that right? Are you going to call me a fool and, and be in and danger of hellfire? God, and the word was God. Oh, the word is Jesus Christ, according to verse 16, you heretic. Only when it's convenient for you, you could call somebody a fool. But when your Jesus tells you not to, then you don't.
listen to him. Well, I mean, a fool's a fool, Dave. I mean, the is word, it? the Bible defines what that is in John is 1. If you read the is. whole passage, it's is talking it about Jesus Christ. Call me a Christian because you actually Bible call me a Christian. What the hell's wrong with you? See this? The, the word meant simply Christian. Bio reprobate heretics. I'm sick so of that. Every lot. time you call me a cretin, you're, you're calling me a Christian. You want to idolize the King James Version? You guys can pucker up to your stupid book and all the way to hell. We're going to have that book all the way to heaven. No, because you're trying to pretend the KJV is is uh, in John one one the word. No, that that's Jesus Christ. That's the title for. I Jesus. didn't say that, you dumb idiot. You fucking did it. Rewind the tape and fuck yeah, you rewind did. the goddamn tape and drink it down and all there the you way go, to the in God's name again. You piece of shit fucker, going to hell, you devil. Yeah, call him. You're saying you're taking. You're a goddamn devil, Kevin. You're consigning me to hell. You're the devil. You're the legion of fucking goddamn. Shove it up your ass, devil. I'll take a two edged sword and shove it. Right up your filthy ass in your throat and cut your nostrils out. You have the nerve to criticize everyone else through division, and you're the cause of it. Kevin, fuck off. I'll kick your ass. I'll beat your head in. I'll come over to New York and fuck you up, bitch. There you go. That's it. Fuck you, bitch. You goddamn devil, son of a bitch, motherfucking hoe, bitch. Up your Our fucking ass, suck your cock. Speaking, is Up your ass with your fucking pussy. God, hey, I'm motherfucking bitch. God. Look, everybody. Dave is speaking the inspired word. Yeah. Of God. I'm a shanda, shanda, God. God. This is the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. La, 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 la. My son, so dumb, I could go one. There you go. According to Dave in John 1, 1 through 14, the word is the King James. It's not Jesus. There you go. Good job, David. Great, great job. Very nice eisegesis. Hand clap for you, buddy. Good job, moron. Shanda Holla, get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, Jason, you shut up with that stupid crap, too. That's disgusting. That's the most vile thing I've heard all night. John 1, 1 through 14 is not talking about Jesus. It's talking about the King James. What disgusting blasphemy is this? I'm sick of this. Shandahala, 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 that's all you stupid, mentally disturbed Pentecostal. How dare you read John 1, 1 through 14 and take away from Jesus? And say he's talking about the King James Bible. That's that's vile. That's disgusting. You need to repent. Unacceptable. Hi, my name is Ryan the Presbyterian, and I'm Super Potato. <laughs> Now, Ryan, the Presbyterian, has decided to tell the news unit that he should be attending the Presbyterian Church A <laughs> outside here on Highway 22. But then when I discussed things with Brian, uh, with Ryan, the, the, the psychiatrist, he actually stated, uh, after hearing that they used the ESV Bible, that he wasn't very happy with that report. So he might have changed his mind. <laughs> We'll continue to keep you informed of the latest right. development in that situation. They they just born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you really saying that that right now? Now? Yeah. I know more than you. I'm Ryan the Presbyterian. Yeah. No, he actually did tell me to go to the PCA out here, but then when he found out, I talked to the youth pastor the other day. I see the guy all the time at the store. I don't know why we run into each other all the time, a youth pastor, but we do. And I ran into him last night, and he says, I asked him a couple of questions. I just said, so I said, uh, what what Bible does your pastor use? Yeah, I said hi to him like I always do. I didn't just start asking questions and how he's doing. And then I said, so what, what Bible does your pastor use? He said, he uses the ESV. And I said, do you guys ever do like a, you ever think about doing a through the Bible study? in one year, you know, like three nights a week where you just read through the whole thing and, you know, limited exegesis. I use the term exegesis because he liked that, you know. And uh, he said, well, you couldn't get the commitment for, from people to do that probably, you know. That's pretty much all we, we had to get going. And he was loading his car with groceries and
rendering. So here's a video I did earlier in homosexuality. Let's see if I'm going to bring in like a, a little t teaching tool on homosexuality. Homosexuals for Arsenokite is 100% a mistranslation. It does not refer to all people who identify with a homosexual orientation. It does not refer to all people who engage in acts of same-sex intercourse. It doesn't say a word about women. It doesn't even refer to all men who engage in acts of same-sex intercourse. It only refers to men who take the active role in an act of male same-sex intercourse. And the word just before that is rendered effeminate, malachi, that refers to men who take the passive role in an act of male same-sex intercourse. And it's no accident that Paul has two different categories for the people who take these two different roles. They had no concept of a versatile role. Men either sought out the... Did he say if a man takes it up the ass? Is that what he said? Well, I would... Yeah, I mean, that's what homosexuality is, man. Like, yeah. The active role or men sought out the passive role. They didn't have an understanding of those who sought out both because their understanding of sexual desire and its motivations were entirely alien to our understandings of sexual orientation today. And these two different roles were understood to be motivated by entirely different impulses of different degrees of deviancy <laughs> and acceptability within society. No, Dan, just no. Hey, don't Tom. You we're called oh, the source of New Testament and meaning of arson and how do you like me there, Dave? Oh, yeah, that's that's a good that's a we'll make a bobblehead out of it, you know. <laughs> I got you could probably make a lot of money sell the bobbleheads. Heck yeah. I got hey, you know, some, this guy uh, remember the guy True Salvation that lays on his side? Yeah. And he said that the demons still got a little good left in them and all that. Look what he said <laughs> recently, it's really weird. Just listen to what he says here. This is really, what do you make of this? Seriously. What would you actually make of this? Okay, this is going to be a hard one for me to say because this is personal. However, God did say that he loves me. You don't have to cuddle me, even though I'm very dirty. And um, I do leave a mess with him. And let me explain before I leave. I've been doing things like Sodom and Gomorrah. They say it that way. I've been doing things like Sodom and Gomorrah, people in Sodom and Gomorrah would do. And he considers that it's really like he's gagging at that. He's like, he feels like he's going to vomit at that, even though he really loves me. So, yeah, he loves me like a little dog, like a little dog but he loves me a lot. And yet he does not like what I'm doing. Like, not half the time, but enough that it matters. I'm, like, it's like a dog leaves a lot of mess, but it's like the dog is really not, I'm not well trained so please pray for me that I please God more or just help him anyway I'll be done I don't know that was some uh, freaky stuff his face was pale white and like is almost like uh, I don't want to maybe like it, it just that that didn't seem right to me at all Yeah, it's pretty weird. He's been doing some Solomon Gomorrah stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine. John Q says, look at John Q says, that dude should be arrested immediately. So is I'm he like... saying pedophilia stuff, or is he saying... The anal stuff. Who knows? Maybe uh, I don't want to know, you know? No, I don't either, yeah. It's weird. It's just plain weird. Him and Diamond Dustification, you remember that guy? They were both, they were, they're both uh, admitted former Satanists, straight up. Yeah. So then, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, then there's Bill Gates. DNA is like a computer program, but far, far more advanced than any software ever created, you Darwinian scumbags. I thought that was Charlie McCarthy <laughs> turned geek. <laughs> Man, Charlie that McCarthy. Is... Char Charlie McCarthy. 
So Santiron says, praise Liam, does that mean this dude is getting rained on with fire and brimstone? So are well, there a lot of things, you know, since nobody agrees on doctrine too much, are, there, are we all saved heretics at least that much? Yes, because Kevin, are you a heretic? Not... Kevin's not a heretic, are you, Kevin? The, the precision of your doctrine is not... David, I want to know right now, is Jesus the word of God or is it the King James Bible in John 1.1? 1, 1? Is Jesus the word of God or is it... <laughs> What do you mean? In John 1, 1, when it says the word was with God and the Jesus word was Jesus is God. not an it. Okay. Listen, hold on. I'll tell you that in John That's 1, a bad 1, question. And when it's talking about the word was with God and the word was God, is that speaking of Jesus or is that talking about the King James Bible? That's speaking of Jesus with a capital W. You would never know that in the Greek and Hebrew. That's okay, why the English is an improvement over the Greek. So you know what little W word is and big W. Wait, wait, wait. So you're saying that's Jesus. Then why were you saying that's the King James a little while ago? I didn't. You said I did, and I did not say that. Because I can I, differentiate between the little W word and the big W word. I know what the difference is. And you didn't even give me a chance to spill the words I'm right, nor did you listen to them. So are we squabbling? Right, well, over I'm going I'm I'm to go look back on the tape, and I want to see if you're being honest about it. Go ahead. It. I could have sworn you said the G, that the King James was the word. Well, swear all you want to, but I wouldn't swear by heaven either by earth because it's his footstool and heaven's his throne. So just let you yay be yay and your nay nay. We'll see what it turns out to be. Just believe me when I say you came from Paul and you and stardust. It's not like I'm a shill or anything. I'm nail smoking the grass. See? make this journey, we will need to use our imagination, our mind's eye, and this J I just rolled. And drama, and dra, and dra, and drama, mama da, and drama da. <laughs> Everything is star stuff. And this, this, yeah, you know who that is, Tom. I know who that is, Tom. I gotta. Yeah, that's I past love it. fifteen years from now when he gets a toupee. Give me a copy. <laughs> Give me a copy of that praise. I fucking love that. And he's still smoking a bong for Jesus. Yeah, so we have raging atheists. I'm Ronna Tate, the mother freaking third. I don't believe. <laughs> <laughs> That's Charlie McCarthy after he had too many uh, vodkas. <laughs> Charlie uh, McCarthy. And Drama Nomada Banda. Drama Nomada. That's great. There's, there was one done on Brian Cox as well, like that. Let me see if I can find it. Here's Dave's new favorite little skit. My son so dumb, IQ 21. He tried to make friends, but they call him Ching Chong. He eat the wonton, but he fat like Kim Jong. He's so ugly when he smile, he look like the King Kong. My son useless, can't play ping pong. He tried to get a date with the girl Su Young. But she said hell no, cause he not the handsome. And my son so broke, can't buy the dim sum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My son so dumb, my son so dumb, yeah, yeah, yeah. My son is so dumb, yeah. Hello, yeah, yeah, wonton yeah, soup, yeah. uh, miho go gai pan, I want that soup. Uh, is that it? Yeah, my 10 minutes, so 10 minutes. Oh, he's right, he's dumb, he's dumb. <laughs> wow, you're getting into TikTok shit. I think I found the clip, Praise. If you want to play it, you can be the judge. Play it again. Oh my gosh. Worship God, not a book. You serve God. Not the Holy Bible, the author. Right, so this is the. Uh -oh, I think that's it. I was trying to hear it over the stream here, but I think that's it. Go ahead. We you got the, the receipts. We got the receipts, Tom. 
We got the receipts. Whoops, we don't got the receipts. Okay, never mind, we get it back up there. I'll remain quiet in the courtroom decorum. Uh oh, someone's gonna walk the plank here. He read what TV Bible. But I just didn't. Are you going to accuse me of not exegeting by comparing scripture with scripture? Well, no, you're asking me questions. You're Whatever you got going on here. 21 chapters in John. Yeah. 22. You're a beast, though. Here it is. I'm going to put a nice little yellow marker on it. It is like a Oh, let's see. Pastor Manson. 21 chapters, and you're going to exegete what? John 4, 24. May I just remind you? Well, David, before we get is, into this, to wait be a fair, minute, let me read the thing. No, I will, but I just want to say, to be fair, it did. that is what it sounded like you were saying. Now, if that's not what you meant, then I will be fair and give you a chance to clarify. Just, just let him talk. That's all I'm saying. Is it sound like is Jesus God? You tell us. I just want to ask Kevin that before I exegete twenty-four. No, go ahead. I, I said what I had to say. Go ahead. Exegete. Is Jesus God, Kevin? Go ahead, Dave. Jesus God? Or yes, not? obviously. Yes. Yes, obviously. So it says God is a spirit. Then why did Jesus say a spirit had not flesh and bones as you see me have? Because that was his human body. Well, you're, you're supposed to be exegeting the passage. You're not supposed to I be am exegeting. exegeting this, comparing scripture with scripture. That's part of exegeting. <laughs> Would you disagree with that? Would you disagree with that? Are you going to accuse me of not exegeting by comparing scripture with scripture? Well, no, you're asking me questions. You're supposed to be exegeting the text. Don't ask me questions. Just Well, I'm doing the same thing my Lord did because he was in the temple, both hearing the doctors and asking them questions, and they were astonished at his understanding and answers. Be astonished. Because I just exegeted it for you. It went quiet. I didn't need to get past Dolan. <laughs> so God is a spirit. Does a spirit have flesh and bone, Dave? Is he a spirit? Like two eyes cut out of a sheet that floats around like a spook? That's a ghost. No, a spirit is not a ghost. So a spirit is not a God's not a ghost. No. So what's the Holy Ghost versus the Holy Spirit then? Different? It's just a uh, colloquial yeah, terminology. Good question. The same thing. So you guys are just leading into more of your misunderstandings. And I'm exegeting your under your misunderstandings. And you don't like <laughs> it. The only thing is what Dave knew to Dave's news unit in his red swimwear. <laughs> That's all he thinks about. Rob reads a sicko. He might just have to join up with True Salvation and do some sodomite things with his pal. Rob is in Jerusalem, man. That's oh, he's I holy. Remember. He's going to feel the water over there, is he? going to get close to Jesus, are you? going to get baptized in the River Jordan, are you? you going to come back with a, like, well, filled with the Spirit? There, are you going to be filled with the Spirit with a little S or the capital S, Rob, when you get back? Coming at Rob hard tonight. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. God is a spirit with a capital S, and what's the spirit with a little s? Theonustos. Would you know the difference if you didn't have an English Bible? Yeah. Theonustos. Look it up in Greek. 
Yeah, it's, it's uh, Numa. What does seen... look like in the TR? Look it up in the TR. In the TR. I'm going to pull yeah, it up. Not the, the M32, the TR. Hold on, that was a mistake there. There we go. Numa ha theos kai tus pros canute asaba saba la 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 la. I'm close, but yeah, some of these I know. Numa mati kai aletheia de pros canuen. So show me little s and big s in Greek over there. How's that work? So, Numa mati, so there's Numa. That's the big. That's the big P. They even that. They even have it in the big P there. Wow, is in the Greek? Well, the that's, big that's, P. No, 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 no. That's English. No, that's that's no, that's Greek. Oh, or there you go. Yeah, so it's up there, but okay. Numa is really the Greek expression of the English. I mean, the English expression of the Greek. I mean, Numva, Numva, Numa, and then Numati. So you have big P, small P. But doesn't didn't the Bible say that the word of God is inspired by the Holy Spirit and spirit breathed? Wait, it says holy men were moved by the how does it say it? Um holy men were moved. How does it say it? Uh holy men were it says uh <laughs> Rob. Oh, it says uh Did holy men of God Rob, though, man. Were you, as they I, were moved by the Holy yeah. Ghost. That's what it says. Second yeah. Peter one twenty one. So worshiping worshiping him in the spirit. What do you think that means, Davey? That means you go to Kentucky and you go to the uh, Asbury Revival. And he danced around. <laughs> and he asked Rob Reeder to come with his band and play some songs. Get real close to the Lord. And we get Candace to speak in tongues for us. Do you notice it says back in John 14, it says that we worship him or we worship him in the spirit, not on the spirit. So if you're saying like the book, you know, the KJV is the, you know, the word of God or something, then. But we worship him in spirit, though. That's the whole point. And I got to go to the bathroom. Be right back. Go ahead. We'll wait for you. Don't go for me too, will you? Bruh. Hope everybody. Did Tom, did Tom go to the bathroom to take a bath? He might have. Wind, it was really high. The wind was really mm -hmm. bad. I grabbed the box on top and it literally went up and forward. And let me show you what happened to that. I like a drone. That was a drone pizza. It was, and it was, it's, it's like, it's traumatizing to see flying a pizza. It's not cool. Said, there it is right there. Oh. And pizza. it was so, I mean, I mean, I laugh about it now, but. Now, since when do they put these strips in the parking stalls like that, that you got to drive over those bumps? What's that all about? Probably because folks might have been We're getting gravel is a little rough each. That's weird that they put those in there. There's no reason for that. No. Is that dumb or what? And have a good night, Death Freak, and God bless. i never seen anything like it with those strips. It is weird. Is Thicky back? And Sparrow wanted. I heard he's been snooping around under some fake name on my channel, according to Ryan the Presbyterian. But who knows? I think so, though. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Hebrew 
uh, Ruach means wind, breath, or spirit, co corresponding with the Greek word is pneuma. Thank you, Sparrow. Pneuma. Pneuma. Me in, in the background. We're, listen, like I said, I think all five of us sitting here right now are children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. You no, know, Olive, I tell you what, I'd like to breathe yeah. some new into you, I'll tell you that. So we can rejoice in that much, okay? And I'll give you the rain mock. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and amen, Dave. Amen. That was beautiful. Amen. And a woman, too. <laughs> <laughs> And wasn't that like an actual thing that praised there for a, a while? A woman instead of a man? Like, oh, um, no. Um, or was that a joke? That was a joke, yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Olive, why did, uh, why did God create Adam first? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, why do you, I, I don't know. Because he didn't want a second opinion. He didn't want a second opinion. <laughs> but that's like, you know what? God gave him one, though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think I found Candace here in Facebook. Well, Dave, I, I would appreciate if you did apologize for using the Lord's name in vain. That wasn't cool. I think you offended Brother Centurion in the chat as well. Is Dave still there or did he step away? I don't know. Hot pockets. God. So we see that doing good works is a fruit. So that that one verse alone disproves his position, or it's he's telling a partial truth on that position. So that, that you know we have to be more careful with the word of God. You know you can't just well I don't want you know works to be a fruit, so I'm going to ignore the verses that talk about it. That's not good. That is an interesting passage there. Uh huh. Yeah, so I'm going to put a stream together tomorrow night. I'm trying to collect all these verses. I want to go over all the different kinds of fruit. As far as I can tell, there's three kinds of fruit described in the New Testament, as far as I can tell. But, yeah, so it should be interesting. Heck, yeah, man. Are you going to do a live stream, or are you just going to do a video? I'll, I'll probably do it as a live stream tomorrow. I'll probably put... Do as a little presentation, and then I'll open it up the room. Cool, I'll be there. I'll let After watch I get it. home from work, I think I have a schedule for like one a.m. Eastern, so I have time to eat dinner and whatever, and settle down before I do it when I get home from work. Nice, nice, yeah, nice, nice. brother. It's gonna be a good one, brothers. Let's all bow. Bring your brothers and your sisters and your fathers and your mothers, brother. Yeah, bud. <laughs> hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't popped up. Good. Let him stay whatever whatever hole in the wall he's in. Let him stay there. Seriously. <laughs> Little cockroach. He is. He's such a vile human being. He is. Uh, Every time you know, oh praise, why do you have you know, your mouth open and your pitches praise? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I put my face up, I have it closed now because it just, <laughs> <laughs> it just gives me a bad, you know what I mean? Like a bad vibe or something. Like someone's looking vibe. at my mouth. It's so uh, gay. Yeah, like it's really gay. Really gay. Yeah. And it's not your fault. He's the one that's, he's, uh, no, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. He's ruined my open mouth now. Like, I had to literally <laughs> close my mouth in every picture I do now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but another good news that Ken Hovind will be on here in a few days. I'm at the uh, promote it coming up. Oh, is there another like um, atheist challenge open mic like last time? Yep. Actually, a debate. I think <laughs> it's actually going to be a debate. Like a for, like a moderated formal debate. Mm-hmm. Yep. Dottie's going to be. SFT is going to be there too. Who, who's he debating? I'll, I'll get his name. I'll see if you ever heard of it. I haven't heard of the name before, particularly. So it's going to be on your channel, Brace? It is, but he, he's going to be busy here, uh, Ken Hove. He's going to have like five debates coming up here. Oh, okay. So his name is Randall. Daria and Randall. So it's got oh, two on me. one. Oh. Okay. And what's what's the topic of the debate? Evolution challenge. So it's it's gonna be something on evolution. Yeah. Is there a specific? Is it? Are you gonna be talking about geology or chromosome? Like, is there a specific topic of the evolution, or is it just general? Uh, it doesn't say. I'm, I'm gonna have to actually clarify with. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually good. I have to uh, tell Astani now. It'll be cool, though. It it says open mic evolution debate. So it's going to be, it looks like after the, it's going to be like a short debate, but then it's going to be open mic to others that come in after that. Looking forward to have Dr. Hovind channel again. I'm going to go doing... stand up potty this time like Tom did. <laughs> How do they know I'm standing up when I take a wee wee? Because, I mean, do guys really don't? You better sit down. That's my butt, bud. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. He claimed it, praise. It's his butt. It's not your butt anymore. It's my butt, bud. <laughs> <laughs> do men, I mean, so is it generally the case that men stand up and they pee? Because I do. I'm just saying, like, I'm wondering. Oh, if yeah. I mean, why not? I mean, if you got the aim, you know, go for it. <laughs> you know, I practice my marksmanship on a daily basis. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Actually, I don't need marksmanship. No marksmanship. <laughs> what do you just you just let it rip all over the floor and the, everywhere else, man? <laughs> no, I don't need it. It's this odd. Well, you play, you catch up to them. They're not, you know, they're not even halfway through the next hole. So you're waiting. To see. Was, when do they call it a putt? Way out. There's a problem, Jamie. <laughs> but God in His grace raised up a substitute. Colossians 1.10, Galatians 5.22 through... I mean, you were saved under good works. You should... ...by himself, right? We want to see more... ...image. According to our... Our... ...God and the Father... So that's sort of like, I think, how this is working out, like metaphysically. To think about. Bill Mounts? Uh, oh, yeah. My drumsticks, boy. Nah, Stay away nah. from Relationship, right? I can just I can be honest with them. It don't it don't it don't offend them. Yeah. You freaking maroon. I'll put it up on my community tab. See if anybody wants to do it. <clears throat> but Dave, you still didn't apologize for using the Lord's name in vain earlier. Why should I? Why do I need to apologize? I'm forgiven. Um. Am I not forgiven? 
Am I in danger of hellfire? No, that's not the point. What is the point? Uh, you offended a brother in the audience, Centurion. He Who's the brother that I offended? Earlier, Centurion brought it up. But you should apologize. You're not supposed to yeah, cause it. Another... Centurion? <laughs> yeah. What kind of Centurion is that? <laughs> that guy's nah. not so tough after all. Okay, okay, no, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, Dave. Easy. We're all imbeciles. We are all imbeciles. Some of us are better at it. Yeah, you got that right, Paul. <laughs> hey, Paul. <laughs> Good Hello. to see you, man. Yeah. I was assuming that there's a reason why it's there. Do you really want to rant with me? Through his email, I could just put it on email. In fact, wait a minute. I'll just put it on. Miles <laughs> in. So here is the link. Anyone could actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> you get saved, you start realizing that. Accept anything. They I, 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 I want the KJV that Joshua preached out of. That.